Hello and welcome to O-Worm. Today we'll be taking a look at the anatomy of the knee. So what I have here is a sheep knee joint, which is very similar to a human knee joint because it has the same bones and ligaments and cartilage. However, it does differ in that the shapes and lengths of some of these structures are a bit different. So joints are the areas where two or more bones meet. Most joints are mobile, allowing the bones to move. Joints are a critical part of the human body because they hold the skeleton together and support movement. And one of the largest and most important joints in the body is the knee. So I have the sheep knee joint here, and let's first take a look at the bones of the knee joint. So this bone here is the tibia. The tibia, also known as the shin bone, because it's where your shin is, is the larger and stronger of the two bones in the leg below the knee right here. Its main function is to accept and distribute weight across the knee and to the ankle. The other bone in the lower leg is called the fibula and would run parallel to the tibia on this side here. It's much thinner than the tibia and plays a role in stabilizing the ankle and supporting the muscles of the lower leg. Here's the femur, and the femur is the only bone located within the thigh. It is both the longest and the strongest bone in the human body, extending from the hip to the knee. Right now this femur has been cut, but imagine it goes a lot further along this way. Like that. So here, this joint between the femur and the tibia is the knee joint. The knee joint is a hinge joint, meaning it allows the leg to extend and bend back and forth like this. It's not going to move right now, but like that. It's comprised of bones, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, and other tissues. So let's take a look at some of these structures. I've already covered the two bones here, but there's another bone at the knee joint called the patella. It's underneath all the tissue here, and it's a flat triangular bone here that sits on top of the knee joint, and it's also called the kneecap. The primary function of the patella is to function kind of like an anatomic pulley for the muscles in the leg, allowing higher efficiency and increased strength and movement. It also provides protection for many of the structures within the knee joint. If you want to learn more about bone anatomy, go check out our bone video in the description below. Now, this band of fibrous connective tissue right here this one is called a tendon. So this band is called a tendon, which connects bone to muscle. You can see more tendons here. So this white line is a tendon. Tendons transmit the movement of the muscles to the bones. And the knee's largest tendon is the patellar tendon right here, which begins at the thigh's quadricep muscles all the way up here and extends downwards, attaching the patella beneath this to the front of the tibia here. When the thigh muscles contract, the patellar tendon is pulled and the leg straightens. And around the knee, you can see several ligaments. So this one and this one. And these are fibrous connective tissue that connects bone to bone. Ligaments are tough and elastic and surrounds the joint to stabilize it during movement. Ligaments also limit the joint's movement outside the normal range, preventing dislocation. This basically means that the ligaments hold the bones together where they're supposed to be. So now I'm going to cut through the joint and pry apart the two bones. So here are the two parts of the knee joint here. 
and you can see a tendon right here that was cut and on this side you can see this thing which is a ligament okay so now when we look inside the knee joint we can see this thick pad of cartilage right here this is called a meniscus and the function of the menisci is to reduce friction and absorb impact when the knee is moving or bearing weight by acting as little cushions. Now if we look at the surface of the bone, you can see that they're very slippery. So here you can also see that it's really slippery. And this is because if you see this white covering, you can see places where it's been stripped off a bit but this white covering is called articular cartilage. And articular cartilage is an extremely slippery, strong, flexible material, and it lost the ends of the bone to glide over each other with minimal friction, so like that. Now, here you might see some liquid that was inside of the cavity of the knee joint, right here. And this is called the synovial fluid. It's a thick liquid that lubricates your joints and keeps them moving smoothly. The synovial fluid also provides nutrition to the cartilage on either end of the bones of the joint. I that's the end of the knee joint dissection. Thanks for staying, lads. Here's a fun fact about joints to send you on your way. When you crack your knuckles, you're increasing the space between your finger joints. This causes gas bubbles inside of your synovial fluid to collapse or burst, resulting in the cracking sound. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more.